As part of making the Besto Pesto recipe, we're gonna cook up some pasta. And I just wanted to show you my new method for cooking pasta is cold water in a pot, not even necessarily a big pot, just kind of a pan with a lid. If it's cold water and you put the pasta in with the cold water, it will not stick like ever. It's kind of a revolutionary thing. Maybe you already heard about it, but it's pretty cool. So I just had a little bit of macaroni noodles and got my cold water and when it's all yummy and done, it'll not stick and it cooks quicker. Hey, cool. Gonna make some pesto. Yum, it's summertime and basil is abundant and fragrant and delicious and yummy and and it's you can have it in your garden. Okay, so what we're gonna start with is the usual thing with the food processor is by chopping the garlic. And this pesto, by the way, is is uh, pretty low fat. It's really healthier if you're the of the no processed fats school, uh, which I try to be. Uh, then I'm not going to use any added olive oil, but you can use some olive oil if you like. And we're having the extra fiber and protein from these cannellini beans, which are magnificently good for you. Okay, we'll get the garlic going. And then, don't you love that way to do garlic? It's so nice and easy. Throwing in our cannellini beans, we have a fourth of a cup of nutritional yeast. And I'm going to do the walnuts a little bit later. I've got a lot of uh, lemon zest here. I zested, I zested two lemons, but I like lemon zest. You can do a little bit less, a little bit more, and then just squeeze my, don't you love like the little gadgets too that just kind of, I, I don't know where I found this, this little doodad thing here that just goes on top of a mason jar. So that kind of makes it fun to store your fresh lemon juice in the fridge. So we're going to start with a fourth of a cup and see how that goes. Probably just throwing a little salt too while we're doing things. So you want to use about a cup of fresh basil packed. I'm going to put that in along with the, um, the walnuts I'm going to use which nuts would also be optional. And then I also, another optional ingredient was, I have this Follow You Heart uh, brand uh, dairy-free Parmesan. That might be something I sprinkle on at the end. So let's, so I'm gonna try it that way. Wow, that tastes so good. Oh my goodness. Mm. I think it's perfect. Doesn't need any more lemon juice. I think I put enough salt in and a little bit of pepper. Yeah, I love it. Well, I just transferred my pesto to a bowl and now I can mix it up with my pasta. Wow, this is a great way to make pesto. Um, with just a, a just a half a cup of walnuts or any kind of nut that you like and all that lovely lemon juice and the cannellini beans really provide some great substance and a lot of base and of course that yummy garlic this is just delicious and I'm going to add in some um, fresh chopped tomatoes just to complete this meal and then a little bit of that uh, we'll try a little bit of that vegan parmesan here from Follow Your Heart and voila a lovely summer meal.